couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by a Mr. Albert Peel, the owner of Nifty Lift, about doing a uh, video review of his, their product that he sells. Now, seeing how it was a, um, it's a made in the USA product by a veteran-owned company that employs veterans first, I was, you know, really glad to take a look at it and see it. And uh, it came in the mail a couple of days later, and um, I'll put a link to the website in the description down below but it's a uh, niftylift.com and um, I was pretty amazed when it came it um, it's, it's a very nice little package it, it actually is in that nice little plastic case and there are a couple of uh, shorter pieces of this very high strength cord and you can see it's got these really nice loops spliced on the end and stuff um, you know it's a uh, it's really it's, it's not a new invention but it's actually reinventing the uh, the block and tackle that's been around for decades um they did it all in cnc machined aluminum there you can see with ball bearings and uh, everything's very high quality um you know really well made and it has this really neat little lock feature on it for the rope there that clinches the rope to hold it in place on this model there are a couple different models if you look at them and um you know, it just, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's a high quality product here. And supposedly it has a, uh, 750 pound lift rating and a, um, I think the cord is rated for 1400 pounds. So it's, you know, it's just amazing. And it has a nice little canvas bag there if you, uh, don't want to use the plastic case, but I really like the way everything fits in, in that case and keeps it all together and, uh, nice, neat and clean. So this is basically what it looks like. Um, it's a, uh, you know, it's a really high quality block and tackle system. It's not your Harbor Freight quality type thing. So uh, now I'm just going to take it in and throw it on the scale. I wanted to see uh, just how much it weighed. And it turns out that with the case here, it weighs just a little bit over 23 ounces, 23.35 ounces. And so it's, you know, it is fairly lightweight for what it can lift. And if you were backpacking or something like that or want to put it in an ATV pack um, without the case on it, it's under a pound. It's only 14.6 ounces. So they've, um, you know, it's pretty amazing what they've done with the combination of the aluminum and the rope and everything else. So now um, I'm about to take this outside and try it out. Uh, I untangled the rope there and stuff. The, and it only came with one of the clevis hooks. This is just like a demo model. So um, I put a just put a S hook in there that's strong enough to hold the loads that I'm lifting. But the actual model does come with uh, two of those clevis hooks in it. And you want to take and untangle that. The first time you use it, you have to untangle that rope um, this nice and flat. And I just hung a chain from the ceiling in my uh, from one of the rafters up in my uh, pole barn there. And I've got a 14 foot high ceiling. And that chain's hanging down about four foot. So you can see this is uh, easily the way it comes. It comes with about a 10 foot length of pull. And you can actually order it with extra rope also. Now I'm not going to lift up anything heavy with it. Um, I've got this cyclone rake here that I bought years ago. And I built a lift to get my motor off because it was really too heavy for me to pick up. And you know I've had many people ask about, well, gee, how, how do I lift these? What's the easiest way to lift this off the framework? And I decided I was going to just see how this nifty lift would do it. Um, you know, it's rated for 750 pounds. And I will tell you, if you want to see a video of somebody picking up, 600 a 600 pound motorcycle with it there is one out there but it just didn't look that safe to me so you know i think you really kind of want to limit this to um you know lighter weight items they have around the shop and unloading things and stuff and it really would be great for um like pulling a stuck atv out or um even just uh for hunters for um you know hanging a de deer or a bear or you know whatever and you could see it uh i used a couple of uh 700 pound just uh straps on the handles of the uh blower assembly there to pick it up and uh you know it really is kind of a one-handed operation and you can pick that up real easy and uh that little cinch thing on that top pulley is just amazing how well it it grabs and holds and the only thing is this rope is so uh thin and lightweight that it's 
you can't just wrap it around your hand and pull it it'll probably cut you so um, you can see I have a short section of wood that I'm just kind of wrapping it around a couple times to give me something to grip on good and um, there it is there and um, you know allow me to to pull it easily but you know it definitely uh, for an application like this it really does work good and um, you can see you pull it and then you just walk in towards the uh, block and tackle pulley there and it locks in place and then you can grab it again and you know get another pull on it and you can see this is well over 100 pound assembly that I'm picking up here with uh, you know just a little bit of force so it does uh, you know work good for something like this now I just looked at the specs again and that uh, cord is actually rated at 1700 pounds per strand brake strain so um you know you can really see where part of the cost of this item comes in because it is a very high grade rope in there and um in order to keep everything light so you know basically i'm gonna say it's really uh that little cleat on there is just amazing how easy it makes to um to lift things and you know get another grip on it with the rope and stuff and like always when you're lifting with a rope you really want to make sure that you're never standing under it and you know you're always kind of clear to the side when it's moving and stuff like that but um the specs on this really should handle anything that uh, a person could possibly pull now i know there'll probably be some out there that would uh hook it to an atv or something like that and, you know i'm not sure exactly uh what that would do to it but it's really not rated for that anyway <clears throat> So there it is. Anybody that's got a cyclone rig and looking for a way to pull it off there easy and has a good, uh, you know, strong rafters in their garage, um, this is really a easy way to save your back. And then I've got this other little generator that I mount in the front of my Kabuda tractor, um, and it's pretty heavy to lift. It's a little bit over 100 pounds, and every year it seems to get heavier to me when I try to lift it up, and it's a pain to, to get the socket into the... Um, hitch there so this was really easy I just wrapped that around gave it one little uh, pull and it's right at the proper height to slide right into the hitch there so and that's going to be another really nice use for it and there you can see that cord it's a pretty amazing cord it doesn't stretch when you pull it it's a, a flat cord and um, you know it's very very strong so then to get it out I you know I figured I could just you can see one hand to pull it up or let it down so this thing really does give you quite a bit of uh, mechanical advantage on it and another thing that's pretty amazing about it is it has a lifetime warranty well the um, actually the ropes not warrantied for the lifetime but um, the lift itself all the parts are warrantied I just thought I'd show you this little champion generator I got it thing's been sitting for a year and hasn't been started first pull Turn on the gas, let it you know sit for a while. First pull, it starts right up. That's another little handy machine. But anyhow, um, you know, I just thought I'd go through this with you, and uh, it's everything very high quality here, and um, you know that's why you can ask that price for it. It's um, it's well looking at the uh, specs and the quality of everything here, um, and just you know just the expense of the rope like that alone. And, uh, you know, the anodized, this anodized version with the lock on it does uh, raise the price a little bit, but um, it really does look nice. And that lock is really, uh, I, when I first looked at it, I said, well, how's that going to work? I don't think that'll be able to do much, but it worked perfect. I was really uh, pretty much amazed. So this this definitely is a, um, a nice combination for a um, nice compact, lightweight unit for, you know, hunting or... Um, even if you're camping in the woods or backpacking or anything like that, or even with an ATV, it would easily, I think, pull out an ATV instead of having a big winch on it. So there's the, um, you know, there's a card there, and I would check out the website for um, any more specs that you may want on it. And uh, the true test of something, whether or not they did good, a good job on sizing the case, is uh, after you use it, if you can get everything back in the case. Uh, 99% of the time I find out that, uh, you know, you use something and it just won't fit back in and the case is useless. So I just, you can see now after using it for a while, the um, that rope is all nice and flattened out and straightened out. And um, 
So I'm just going to coil it up here and uh, try to get it back in there. So it coils up nice, um, nice tight little package there. Push it down on there and I'll uh, throw the cards back in there too to show you everything fits. Snap and there it is. Um, you know, really nice ready to go package. I don't think my wife was too happy when I told her if she gets the uh, golf cart stuck in the mud again uh, she can now just take this and use it to pull herself out and I like the uh, disclaimer that they put on the um, on the lift itself there common sense is not included with this block and tackle system boy that is so true these days so if you're looking for a high quality block and tackle system and you you know would like to help support our veterans I've got to give this lift a thumbs up Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.